Brandy. Yeah. 18 days after Summer went missing, this lady, Sloan Bella, correct? Yeah, from SloanBella.com. You here to plug her or what? Sloan Bella was fine. you got to break down her website. Yeah, you want to throw her link up? Yeah, that's where we got this. If they want to check it out, y'all check it out. I like her. Yeah, Sloan Bella. I give you this, Sloan Bella. You got creepy close in 18 days, I think, mm -hmm. to what make, would make sense right now. Yeah, because it is weird. If <clears throat> stuff happened to now, she talked about. She talks about, you know, family in general, and she kind of does a lot of two sides. The mother's side of the family, Candace, the father's side, Dawn. She basically says on Candace's side there was a long history of dysfunction. Right. Now... After 18 days, could we have guessed that? Yes. Right. But, still, it makes sense. Right. Right? Yeah. Now, we didn't know there was a long line of dysfunction positively in 18 days. I mean, right. we seen... Well, in 18 days, I don't even think we had seen inside the house yet. Right. So, you know, she went there. Right. 18 days after, and she stated this. Mm-hmm. And, I would agree with that. She talks a lot about a lot of the problem on Candace's side of the family is it was a generational thing and that nobody's healed from it. Right. Now, 18 days in, she also gives a, a feel for how she feels Summer is. She says Summer's precocious. She's a tomboy. She's kind of a happy. She's a happy girl. Very happy and, you know playful and mm -hmm. this kind of stuff. She was extremely fun and she was what I would call a precocious child. She loved to have fun, she loved to play. She was very free and easygoing. She She's a child, she's five. I agree with all that. Right. I think it's a fair description of mm -hmm. someone. And she sets it up as an abduction. I don't feel this was an abduction by the parents in any way, shape or form. Right. And she describes this quite a bit. Well, before we get there, she talks about the hair. She says it wasn't shaved for lice. And she kind of says at one point it was shaved as almost like a punishment. But then she says it was kind of the purpose was for the abduction. Right. Correct? Yeah. Which is kind of confusing, that part. Right. But yeah, that's what she said. Yeah. Particular instance with Summer, I get this a little bit differently. I see immediately with the shaving of the head, power and control. She was being prepared for something. Me either. And I don't think that because nobody else's head was shaved to the right. as low as Summer's was. And you'd be dumb to shave one person's head in your house and pick a little five-year-old girl to do it. I agree. You know? Mm-hmm. Anybody that knows ever had a scare, Sloan Bella talks about this too. You know, there's life scares everywhere in right. the cities, in the country, mm -hmm. everywhere. That happens. But, like we said, you know, this doesn't look like the reaction to a life scare to us. No. Especially considering you only shave one person out of six. Right. All their hair was short, but different lengths. Like, the boys were longer than Summer, yeah, and, in my opinion. And right. it would have been a long time between haircuts from what Summer's was short to where theirs was when hers was cut. Right. If they had life, they would all get them use the same cut at the same time. There would be no purpose in just shaving one person's head. Right. Now, she talks about, and I don't want to talk about this too much, but she says that this person is a friend of Summer's oldest brother. Within proximity of age, that could be within five to 10 years of the older sibling's age. The mother, I, there is an unwillingness to see certain things. So maybe I befriend you. Maybe I flirt with you. Maybe you're 20. Maybe you're 25. Maybe you're 19. I don't know. Whatever it is. I flirt with you. I'm high. I smoke this pipe. Whatever's in the pipe, I don't know. But I light it with a... When I see it in my head, I light it with a, a cigarette lighter. And then the eyes glow. And the room goes dark. And it's like 
fire. So it makes the brain go fire. And I don't know what that is. But I see that. So let's say the mom, you know, she hanging out with some people that maybe aren't her age or whatever due to whatever reason that is and she invites them into the environment so there's an environment around her children due to her own actions and this goes for the father too people that are doing the drinking and drugging around the kids invite different people who maybe don't have your kids best interests at heart one of the persons involved one of the persons involved the person that led, leads her away right she left the house willingly. She skipped around the side. She skipped around the side and she skipped over. Now, this is 18 days, okay? There's, I don't know, there's not been that much out. And that would, in my opinion, describe possibly two people. Right. H mm -hmm. or Damien. Right. She said around five to 10 years. Or older than, than the older. oldest brother. Right. This person was five to ten years older than the oldest brother. So that would fit H or Damien. Yeah. She said the oldest. And she said that. Right. That was so weird to me because when she said that, I thought that is really strange. Strange, considering two of probably the better suspects is who she's talking about. Yeah. And now. She talks about the truck of a handyman, right? Right. That's kind of the way she described it. Now, the truck was already out Yeah. at this point. I was looking, yeah, and it was out in June. So we checked. It was already out, so she could have known that. But she describes it as a red truck, but at one point she says a very light color. Right. Like, Toyota. She does say, but that was out there also. Yeah, I'm just saying what she says. Yeah. She said maybe Toyota. She says a light color. Right. And she said it wasn't necessarily that it was the truck of a company, but it could have just been somebody fixing their own home and had these things in the truck. Right, like paint buckets and stuff like, like that. Like me and you go to Lowe's on a right. Sunday and got to do some shit and we... Got yeah. some stuff. Something. Could have been something like that. Right. So, that was interesting. She says they know that Summer knows the abductor, which right. I've said. She states it again. You know, Summer knows this person. She felt comfortable enough, whoever this person was, that they basically just let her off. Right. But then she says at some point, they put something over her mouth that made her pass out. Right. Something was put over her face to make her sleep. I do see that. So. And, um, you probably will cover it. This was planned, she said, maybe sometime in March. Yes. So the planning for this happened in March. Around Easter. Right? Around wow. Easter, yes. So in the month of March, April, Easter, this is being thought about since that time frame. This is something that's been working in motion in conjunction. Then she talks a little bit again and she she says specifically that she sees an older boy who's connected to the family. Right. So a kid but maybe an early adult. Like I said, we think we know two people who would fit that mold. Right. She talks a lot about what she refers to as an elite deacon. It was an elite deacon. Elite deacon. I but she kind of gives you the feel that it's not necessarily that it's not an elite deacon. Could be just somebody that's higher up in the church, the head of something in the right. church. Like not just an average church member. Right. She also says... The haircut could have possibly been to teach Summer a lesson because Summer spoke out about something. Mm -hmm. Summer's hair, from what I'm feeling, was shaved in order to teach her a lesson. She spoke out about something. There was a speaking out of something. So her head got shaved. She wouldn't really say exactly what that was. I'm not going to... Into it. I'm not going to say it for her. You can. Now here's the interesting part. Okay. She talks about, and she calls this, 
Neighborhood blocking. So the people in the neighborhood are blocking something. Obviously not all of them, but there is a block. And what I got she was talking about was people, neighbors, stopping information and stuff from getting out. Is that the way yeah, you I'm, took it? Gosh. And that was so interesting because a lot of us think something weird in that the ben area, area, that Ben Hill region between the neighbors are up to something now. She said this shit 18 days after Summer went missing. Yep. She said, she said basically Grandis and Candace had turned a blind eye to whatever Summer was up to. Right. When all this went down and she just managed to get walked off while they were just not paying attention and had no interest in what was going on with Summer. And I believe that. I think maybe that's, if this is, you know, true, that's probably what Candace was hiding, like the time frame, like yes. what she was doing during that time. I really feel like everybody knows that Candace ain't telling something, and I believe that something could be what she was actually doing when Summer went missing. Yeah. Because if you'd open up that time weight, or that time two or three hours it would be a hell of a lot more believable than two minutes yeah i agree the grandmother and mother turned a blind eye as in it just wasn't thought of at the time and that's very easy to get immersed in your own stuff not pay attention i've done it many times myself when my kids were little so there's this feeling of like nobody's paying attention as the energy is surrounding summer she was coveted for a reason so there's a covetingness of summer and i am hearing that they're going to try to make it one person's fault but it isn't there's three of them connected to it and it was specific it was planned out she was prepped with her head being shaved. Then comes the bombshell, the part you've all been waiting for. She says there will be a blonde lady coming forward to defend her son. Some sort of a woman stepping up defending what appears to be like her son, and it's not Summer's mother, it's somebody else's mother with blonde, kind of wavy, and not blonde like my hair, natural blonde hair, or like sun-kissed hair, brown hair with like highlights from the sun, it, kind of a red face, so a little bit Irish looking woman, and I'm seeing her, kind of a sunburnt face, I'm seeing her and she's yelling at people for thinking that it's her family member. And this to me feels like a child. So she's defending a child over here. That I really thought was something kind of off. Right. You know, I agree. the blonde headed woman defending her son just. And I heard it. And it, like I said, this was up on the third or on the third of July, which is 18 days after summer went missing. Right. So. She called a lot of this early on, and it could it be luck? Yes. But that's really eerie, the, the remark about the blonde-headed woman. And she, you know, she reiterates it, and she, to me, she was talking about Jovi. So. Yeah, she said natural blonde, maybe look like highlights. Like dishwater. Kind of uh, yeah, Irish skin. Yeah. So. <sighs> she yeah. described JSB. If it was a sketch artist and she was telling you, you'd have been like, Psh, and you'd come up with this. Right. We're up there, up there still searching. At that point, you would have really thought if she was trying to guess, she'd have been like, I see a, I don't know how to describe cats, a woman in a blue tank top. And <laughs> everybody knows it's her, right? Yeah. That's how you would have done that. But that's the story of Sloan Bell. And I'll tell you, me and, you know, Randy found all this, Brandy follows her, and I'll tell you, I mean, who knows, but she makes it compelling. Yeah. I feel she knows the person that she went with. I feel she went close enough to this person to get abducted, meaning she went over to a car, over to a truck. I actually see a truck and I see a truck. I do feel like she was summoned out of her house. So when I'm looking at her energy, this is a child that was 
willing to go without thought. She's five, okay? She's five. She's playing in her house. This shouldn't be happening. This should not be happening. The city is blocking something. She knew this person. Feel they know what happened to her. Somebody knows what happened to her, and I'm not talking about in the family. I'm talking about in law enforcement.